Connect with the past. Relive history. Using Abstergo's incredible research into genetic memory, Animus gives you the chance to game within the past. The product you have purchased allows you to access the memories of Aveline de Grandpré, an 18th century assassin caught between two worlds, fighting to find her true purpose. Make history yours. History is our playground. Animus. Hardworking, strong, healthy too. I told you to keep your place, Congo. As I was saying, this one is strong as an ox. It's in good health, and all not counting the missing dolls. Mama?
Aveline? Ma chérie, you were shouting again. Was it the nightmare? Oui, only a dream. I'm sorry to have woken you. Shh, ma chérie, shh. Never apologize. A mother worries, even a stepmother. Thank you, Madeleine. Maman, do you worry too? Did you forget me? Or are you gone? In any case, the night has better uses than sleep. We have uncovered news of a plantation from which slaves are vanishing. The owners reported their escape, but our network can find no trace of them. If you don't your slave guys, perhaps you can investigate this mystery from within. A dressing chamber has been prepared for you in a strategic location. From the top of the cathedral, you will see it.
A delivery will arrive at the plantation. A perfect cover. Hide in a wagon and follow the cart to discover the location without being seen. Who are you? How did you get past the guards? We have plenty of trouble here already. Don't need no more. I'm Aveline, a friend. Slaves have been reported escaped, but none has yet reached any safe house. My contacts fear the worst. If you're a spy, Aveline, you won't find no cause for persecution here. My brothers have vanished, then my aunt. Today, my youngest sister, Therese. They ain't escaped, as you say. They're taken. Besides, Therese would never survive on her own. I'll find her. If any have trodden through these fields, they must have left tracks.
Don't be afraid, Therese. I'm a friend. Who did this? Your master? No. This son. Oh, please help! Be strong. I'll get you to safety. You'll pay for this. Guards! Hurry! We've got rats in the barn! <laughs> is over, Therese. Stay with me. We must hurry. Evelyn, my daughter, wandering alone at dawn. Where have you been? After the nightmare, I went to take air. Dear stepmother, I'm grown now. You needn't worry for my safety. You underestimate the dangers of the world. If not your safety, then to your reputation. Why must you be so headstrong? I wish you would... In truth, Madeleine, I'm in need of your assistance. I'm afraid it's urgent. <laughs> what now? While walking... I was startled by cries of distress. Following them, I discovered a woman, a slave, badly wounded. Where is she? I will send help. She awaits in a wagon, outside, in the street. Evelyn! Don't be cross. I knew you'd know the thing to do. I couldn't risk leaving her to perish, or worse. Or worse! You have already sentenced her to persecution by your very impulsiveness. <sighs> Very well. I will not turn my back now, not that you have left me much choice. I will see that she is treated in utmost discretion. <sighs> Thank you, Madeleine. In the meantime, hurry to town and fetch your new traveling clothes. Go quickly. We have no time to lose.
Avlin, late to lunch and looking ashen again. I fear you are not resting enough. Oh, Papa. I'll take my rest when this life is exhausted. You will hasten that end at this rate. I do fear you are more like your father than his feet for a lady. A chip of the same block. In passing, Monsieur Blanc requests your assistance at the warehouse. I dare say he has work to offer. Is that all he has to offer? I should think for all his attention, he would request your and. All the same, it's the work that interests me. Philippe. Oh, dear me. Oh, by the turn of this conversation, it would appear I have lingered too long at this table. If you'll excuse me. Good day, Papa. There, he is gone. I can tell you now, Aveline. I have taken care of everything. Your friend will be safe. If you have any more womanly problems, do not hesitate to see me. C'est la robe que vous portez. Second time this month. Customer relations are strained enough without shipments disappearing. Your... Uh... The frustration is understandable, monsieur. In your position, I... I should demand a full investigation. Please, let me look into it. I, I will go talk to monsieur de Saint-Maxent at once. Most grateful, monsieur Blanc. At least I know I can always rely on you. My boy, the cargo is stolen from this very ship. I have no more means of retrieving it than you do. Oui, monsieur. That is indeed troubling. I... Well, what would you suggest, then? I know this much. The devil had the gun to impersonate my dress and my signature. Can you imagine? No, monsieur. Imagination has never been my, uh, strong suit. If it's not too much trouble, may I uh, look at your books? My books? I'd interrogate the captain! If this crew takes bribes, I'd wager he's no less corruptible.
I will visit the tavern tonight. Are you the captain of this ship? Si! Capitan Carlos Dominguez, at your service. May... May we speak in private, Capitan? Who am I to refuse such a comely creature? Come. Would you be so kind as to tell me what happened with Monsieur de Saint-Maxence's shipment? <laughs> Why would you want to know? <laughs> bah! Don't you worry, my little Arthur. The cargo found its way to the intended recipient. Let me pour you a cup. I dare you to tell me this isn't the best Madeira wine that ever graced your heavenly lips. If... if you insist, Capitan. I do. You will not find a better vintage in all of the New World. I'm intrigued. Truly. They hid the goods in two warehouses.
regardez-la, à essayer de se faire passer pour une dame. I am terribly grateful for your assistance, Mademoiselle de Grandpré. But how did you ever... <laughs> Never mind. Just please, tell your father to expect a considerable discount for his trouble. Jolie robe, avons-nous là 